What's going on everybody? It's your boy Plex, Rich from Anywhere Squad. And in this video, I'm actually making a part two to the first video that I made about the iOS 14 update. And we're gonna go through some of the common issues and common questions that I've been getting a lot about. So before we jump into that, as always, if you're new to Rich from Anywhere, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, hit the bell notification so we're, you know, you're always knowing when we're dropping new gems like this. And hit the like button if this was helpful for you too. And if you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video, just drop them in the comments below and we'll try to do our best to answer everyone um, that comments, all right? So with that being said, let's jump into the common issue number one that I see a lot of, all right? So this one is, I've done all the steps, but my pixel is grayed out and it says no web events to select on this pixel. We see this one probably more than any other issue. This is the issue I see. So when you have this issue right here, the first thing that could be a possible solution is you wanna actually perform a test purchase to make sure that that pixel has fired recently. So what we've been seeing is that if that pixel is grayed out and you can't select it, then it's probably because there hasn't been any recent activity on that pixel. So what you need to do is actually go to your website and perform a test purchase. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna actually fire all the events. And then I would give it like 20, 30 minutes. Um, and, and it really ranges depending on how long it might take. But give it like 20 or 30 minutes and then check again and see if the pixel is, uh, is still grayed out. And if that doesn't work, do you also wanna make sure that the Facebook page is actually connected to your domain, okay? I'll show you really quickly how to actually do that. What you do is go inside of your business settings, all right, and then go down to brand safety and then domains. And then when you get to the actual domain that you're referring to, just click the connected assets button and make sure that the correct Facebook page is actually connected to that domain. That's another thing that we've seen um, that has actually caused that issue as well, all right? So if you're, if you're having that issue where it's saying no web events to select, um, in this pixel, try to perform a test purchase and see if that fires. Um, and then if not, try to actually you know, connect your Facebook page to the domain and see if that works as well. I also have to say that you know every ad account has been acting a little bit different. Um, sometimes it takes like 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes. Sometimes it might even take 24 hours. So I would just say give your Facebook account ample enough time for it to update properly, okay? That's one of the biggest issues that we've seen so far. So hopefully that has helped. Um, a lot of you out there. All right, let's go to common issue number two. Okay, so my pixel is available to select, but not all of my events are actually showing up, right? So meaning you can actually select the pixel, but when you go to, to select the event to add, um, you know, not all of the events are showing up. Typically, the biggest thing that we see is causing this is because those particular events have not fired recently, okay? So a possible solution to that is very similar to the last common issue, perform a test purchase or whatever action that you're trying to optimize for. So for instance, if you if you were running a funnel and you have you know a different set of events that you're trying to optimize for, just run through that process and fire those pixels. And then once again, when you do that, you wanna wait at least 30 minutes, uh, maybe even longer, to make sure that that Facebook is, is updated and everything. And let's, let's see if that works, all right? Hopefully that helps. So this is common issue number three. When verifying my domain in Facebook, I'm getting an error message. And what I mean by that is, let's say you've, you've added the TXT record to your DNS settings and you went back into Facebook and you click that green verify button and then a little message pops up. Um, and it's like an error message, okay? A few things might be causing that. Go back into wherever you bought your domain from, whether it's GoDaddy or whatever it is, right? Go back in there and make sure that when you're in the DNS settings, after you add the TXT record, make sure that you, you add it and then you refresh your screen, all right? That simple little thing right there has caused a lot of people issues, right? So make sure you refresh your screen. Also, when you're back in your Facebook Business Manager, go back and refresh your screen again, okay? And then hit the green verify button again. If it doesn't work again, this is gonna sound crazy, but just try to keep hitting the verify button, okay? Because if you've added the TXT record properly and it's just not making any sense, I'm telling you, hit the green verify button like five, six, seven, ten times if you need to. That actually ha has worked for me um, where I would, I would click it like seven times and then on the eighth time, it finally verified. So I know that kind of seems crazy, but try it, all right? So now that we've knocked out some of the common issues, let me tackle some of the common questions that I've been getting about this whole iOS update, okay? So if I don't do these steps, can I still run ads? 
And if so, will it affect my results? So what we've seen so far is that this iOS update is mainly affecting people who are running conversion ads, right? So if you're running like engagement ads, video view ads, traffic ads, right? I don't believe that this is going to affect you that much, but if you're running conversion ads, then it will. Now, technically right now, you don't have to set this up. You can still run conversion ads, right? If you don't set these steps up, you can still run conversion ads. The problem is, is when this iOS update actually takes effect, and it becomes mandatory whenever that might be, um, what's gonna happen is if you don't have that particular event that you're optimizing for, if you don't have it configured the way that we tell you to, then Facebook will probably pause your ad or it'll, it'll turn that ad off, right? Which will obviously screw a lot of things up for you, right? So yes, technically you, you still can run ads right now, but it looks like this is something that's gonna have to be done. So I would, I would honestly just go ahead and just knock it out. All right. The other common question that I get a lot is, do I have to verify subdomains too? And the short answer to that is, um, no, you don't have to verify subdomains separately. And the reason why is because what you're doing is you're verifying the primary domain, right? And what I mean by that is, you know, um, xyz.com, that's your primary domain. So if you're verifying your primary domain, then all of the subdomains that you create underneath that primary domain are automatically gonna be verified too. So you don't need to verify subdomains separately. Another big question I get is, should I toggle on the value optimization uh, when I'm configuring my events, okay? So here's the first thing you should know about the value optimization is, for purchases, you can't toggle on value optimization unless you've had at least 100 purchases on that particular pixel. Once you do hit, 100 purchases, you'll be able to toggle on value optimization. Now, from my understanding, what this means is if you toggle on value optimization, what you're telling Facebook is, I want you to go out and optimize my campaign performance for the, uh, the value of my purchases. Not necessarily the amount of purchases that I get, but the value of those purchases. So if you toggle it off, if you keep it toggled off, then it's gonna be more of like a standard uh, purchase optimization, meaning Facebook's gonna go out and, and try to optimize the performance based off of trying to get the, the quantity, the highest quantity of purchases, not necessarily the amount of value in that purchase. I hope that makes sense. Um, so with the question of should I leave it on or should I leave it off, I think it really just depends on your strategy, right? If you want, to optimize your ads for higher average order value, then toggle it on. If you wanna optimize your ad performance for more purchases, not necessarily the amount of, of that purchase, then I would just leave it off. The next question I get is, what if I'm driving traffic to a third party payment gateway, right? Such as affiliate marketing. Now, in my opinion, I think affiliate marketers are gonna get hit by this personally, because the issue is if you're, for instance, running ads, and you're driving that traffic to a funnel where somebody is, is going to make a purchase, but they're gonna make a purchase on a funnel or on a landing page that you don't own that domain, well then you can't optimize for that purchase, right? Because you don't own the domain that that purchase is taking place on, right? So unless you have um, you know a good relationship with the person that you are doing affiliate marketing for and they can add your pixel to their purchase page, that might be one way you can do it. Um, but if not, then you can't optimize for purchases on, if the purchase is happening on a domain that you don't own, right? So I, I personally think that um, affiliate marketers are gonna get hit a little bit by this update. Now there's, there's always ways around it, right? One thing that you could do is you could build what we call a bridge page where you know, you're sending people to a landing page where, you know, you're collecting their information first, right? And then on that page, you have your domain with your pixel, okay? And now you have that particular event that you can optimize for. And you can, you can do that using um, custom conversions or custom events, right? Which is a little bit, you know, outside of the scope of this video, but that's one way that you could do it. But I think affiliate marketers are gonna get hit by this update personally. Another question I get a lot is, um, can I add multiple domains in the same business manager? 
The easy answer to that is yes, um, you can. We've actually done it in our own business manager. You can see right here, um, we have two domains inside of the same business manager and they're both verified, right? So we know that you can do it. Now, to the extent of how many domains can we add in one business manager? I have no idea. We haven't really pushed the threshold yet. I, I don't know, but I'm assuming um, it's unlimited at this point, okay? But you can add multiple domains in the same business manager. Another question I get is, can we add custom conversions in the aggregated events manager, okay? So instead of optimizing for standard events, can we optimize, can we still optimize for custom conversions? And the answer is yes, you can. Um, you can see it right here. We already have custom conversions that we're optimizing for, right? You can see them right here. And then you can see on the, the pixel side or on the event side, these are uh, custom conversions that we're optimizing our ads for. And just in case you don't know what custom conversions are, um, it's basically a way for you to optimize for an event that Facebook doesn't just automatically provide inside of uh, the business manager, like a standard events, right? So Facebook provides standard events such as view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase. Those are all standard events that come with Facebook. But every once in a while, you'll have a business that wants to optimize for something that's outside of the realm of a, of a standard event. And we call that a custom event. So you have to first have to create your custom event, okay, using your pixel and you create the custom event that you want, right? And then once you create the custom event, then you can, tr you can create a custom conversion off of that custom event, which, which enables you to um, track the data and, and everything inside of your ads manager, which again, it can get kind of complicated. So it's outside the scope of this video, but long story short, yes, you, you can still add custom conversions uh, and you can still optimize for that as well. All right. And this question I get a lot from uh, music artists mostly um, and producers and stuff is, can I run conversion ads um, for short links like Linktree, HypeEdit, smart URL, right? All these Instagram link in bio kind of services, right? Can I, can I run conversion ads to those uh, links? And, and the answer is no. And the real reason why is because ultimately you don't own that domain. So you can't verify that domain with Facebook in order to add the, the events to that domain, right? So you don't necessarily like own linktree.com or you don't own smart URL or anything. So I know a lot of artists might be kind of kind of mad at this, right? But it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, if you think about what Linktree and HypeEdit and smart URL, and, and you think about what these really are, they're really just landing pages, right? So you guys could, a, a quick workaround around this is just literally just create a landing page that looks and behaves um, and, and, and has the same functionalities as HypeEdit and smart URL and link tree, which is not hard to do, right? So create your own landing page and then attach your own custom domain to it. And now you can verify that domain with Facebook and you can add events to that domain and now you can run conversion ads again, right? So long story short, stop using link tree and hype edit and smart URL, start building your own landing pages, right? Which is actually what we've done. We used to use link tree, um, but we've actually switched over and now we don't use any of those services anymore. We just build our own landing pages. That way we own all the data and we own those domains and we have more flexibility. <clears throat> and by the way, like I said earlier, if you guys have any more questions or, or something that I didn't cover necessarily, please drop them below and we'll do our best to help out. We, we always wanna help out our community as much as possible. But guys, I hope that you have gotten some value from this. I hope that you, this has kind of gotten you over some of your hurdles. So if you guys have gotten some value from this video, please smash that like button one time for me. Drop a comment below letting us know that you liked it um, and hit the bell notification so that you know, you're always getting notified of new videos that we're dropping and, and just make sure that you are subscribed as well. We appreciate you guys. Um, and like I said, hope this has been valuable for you and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.